Lions and hyenas inhabit the same geographic ranges in Africa and depend on the same prey as food. This competition fuels a relationship characterized by animosity. When the animals cross each other's path, they react with hostility, sometimes without apparent reason. Observers have noticed occasions where male lions seem to take pleasure in harassing or killing hyenas. The lion is a ferocious animal that belongs to the cat family. For centuries, they have been associated with courage, strength, and pride. This large feline's image is used in many national flags, coats of arms, and even crest symbols to symbolize power or courage. There are two main subspecies of lion that exist today, as categorized by the part of the world they live in. The first subspecies is the African lion that dwells in southern and central Africa. The other one is the Asiatic lion found in the Gur Forest, India. To many people, these two lion subspecies resemble each other. However, upon close examination, you will discover that they exhibit noticeable differences in diet, habitat, and size. Lions have strong, compact bodies and powerful forelegs, teeth, and jaws for pulling down and killing prey. Their coats are yellow gold, and adult males have shaggy manes that range in color from blonde to reddish brown to black. The length and color of a lion's mane are likely determined by age, genetics, and hormones. Young lions have light spotting on their coats that disappears as they grow. Lions inhabit a wide range of habitats, from open plains to thick brush and dry thorn forests. Except for a small population of the Indian lion subspecies that remains in the Gur Forest of Northwest India, lions now live only in Africa, from the Sahara's southern fringe to northern South Africa. They are absent from equatorial areas dominated by moist tropical forest. In Asia, the average weight of a male lion is about 352 to 418 pounds, 160 to 190 kilograms, with a length of about 7.8 to 9.5 feet, 2.4 to 2.9 meters, while in Africa, the average weighs about 320 to 452 pounds, 145 to 205 kilograms, with a length of about 8.2 to 9.8 feet, 2.5 to 3 meters. Hyenas are known for their famous, laugh-like vocalizations. These dog-like predators are actually more closely related to cats and are a uniquely small member of the carnivore family. The word hyena is an umbrella term that actually describes three distinct and separate mammalian species, all of which are part of the family hyenidae. The three species are the spotted hyena, the striped hyena, and the brown hyena. Although not classified as hyenas, the family also has a fourth relative, the aardwolf. All living hyenas have similar qualities and skeletal structure. They have a short torso, a low hindquarters giving their back a hunched appearance. They have long forelegs and thick necks, and from their heads to their tails, their back slopes noticeably downward. Most species are tan or brown in color, with dark stripes or spots. The spotted hyena is the largest species, and it grows to 4 to 5.9 feet, 1.2 to 1.8 meters long, and 2.5 to 2.6 feet, 77 to 81 centimeters tall from paw to shoulder. They weigh 88 to 190 pounds, 40 to 86 kilograms. Unlike other species, spotted females are 10% heavier than males. Hyenas are widespread in almost all of Africa and in Middle and Southwest Asia, as far east as the Bay of Bengal. Different species of hyenas have slightly different habitat preferences. Aardwolves live in dry open bushland and plains, and are restricted to areas where termites are plentiful. Spotted hyenas will live in mountainous areas, woodlands, savannas, and even semi-deserts. Brown hyenas live in deserts, semi-deserts, savannas, and will scavenge in urban areas. Finally, striped hyenas live in mountain regions and scrub woodlands. Lions prey on large animals, including wildebeest, zebras, antelopes, buffalo, impala, giraffes, and hippos. During food scarcity, they also kill rhinos and elephants and may snatch scavenged food from leopards, cheetahs, and hyenas. They are also known to feed on small animals like tortoise, lizards, and mice. Hyenas vary wild in diet, as well as range and habitat. 
aardwolves are widely insectivores and feed largely on termites. Spotted hyenas are primarily predators and will catch and eat their own prey. Brown and striped hyenas are mainly scavengers and will eat carcasses in various stages of decomposition. Hyenas eat virtually the entire animal, bones and all, leaving almost nothing behind on a carcass. The social structure of the lion is very interesting to observe. A group of lions living together is called a pride. There are typically five or six females that live in it, plus their cubs. There may only be one male, or there can be up to two of them. The only one will be the dominant male though, and the one that has the right to mate with the females. It seems that every member of the pride has a role to play. That role can shift though, depending on their needs and the size of the pride. Usually, all of the adults in the pride will work as a team to protect each other and the young from predators. However, there is often a hierarchy here that determines who will be dominant in that fight to protect them. Some of the lions may cover the outer perimeter, with others remaining well protected inside of it. There can be brutal battles between entire prides of lions over territory. When they have locations that overlap, there may be a fight for who gets to keep it. Such battles are becoming more frequent now that humans are taking away so much of the area that the lions once called their home. Hyenas have perhaps the most complex social behavior of any carnivore. Unlike most predatory species, they live in large, female-dominated clans with a strict matrilineal hierarchy. Depending on the group's overall size, there may be several hierarchical lines within a single clan. All female clan members, even juveniles, are dominant over male clan members. Social politics rule hyena clans, with individuals forming alliances with other clan members and coalitions between various small groups. Greeting rituals and social behaviors take up a good portion of the day for hyenas. Hyenas are extremely territorial and have numerous methods for marking and defending their turf. They use vocalizations to both warn non-resident interlopers of their territorial claim and to call other clan members to the scene if a stranger refuses to yield. Frequent scent marking establishes the boundaries of a clan's claimed territory, and the clans establish communal latrines at the territory's fringes to democrate boundaries as well. Small groups of clan members form border patrols and walk the boundaries day and night. Boundary disputes between rival clans are common, especially as clans grow and seek to claim larger territories. The smaller hyena's ragged appearance compared to the regal air of the lion means hyenas are often seen and portrayed in a negative light, while lions are admired and respected. Although hyenas have a reputation as scavengers and thieves, they are active and dangerous predators in their own right, and it's often more likely that a lion will steal a hyena's prey than the other way around. Both species are social predators, who engage in cooperative hunting as well as scavenging, but Africans have long considered hyenas as harbingers of evil. Because lions and hyenas both consume the same prey, they are each other's most common competitors. Lions are three to four times larger than hyenas and kill larger animals. A group of hyenas, however, can often use teamwork to intimidate a lion away from its kill. Both lions and hyenas frequently steal from each other. Lions have learned to recognize the feeding calls of hyenas after a recent kill. They follow the calls to the source and chase the hyenas from their prey. Although it would seem abundant prey would lessen the hostility between lions and hyenas, the opposite has been observed. Both lions and hyenas are territorial and extremely aggressive towards one another. Lions have been known to kill hyena young, and a lion entering hyena territory is dealt with swiftly and aggressively by the individuals guarding the den. Territorial disputes are frequent, and observers in Ethiopia observed a conflict of warlike proportions in April 1999. At the end of two weeks of intense fighting, six lions and 35 hyenas were dead. During the Pleistocene Age, more than 12,000 years ago, both lions and hyenas lived throughout Central and Western Europe, and evidence discovered by archaeologists reveals they didn't get along then either. Lion bones dating back to that era have been found in prehistoric hyena dens in Central Europe bones that bear the characteristic bite marks of a spotted hyena. Scientists speculate the lions may have been killed in fights with hyenas over prey. Similar lion remains have been found in present-day hyena dens in Africa. That's all for today. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.